when we got to the stoplight itself, he went into the very left lane. There was a lane in between us that had a car in it. And then there was this lane, the third lane that I was in, two cars back. He flipped me off two times. I admit I was wrong, I flipped him off back. He got out of the car and started throwing something. Were you stopped at a light? Yeah, we were stopped at a very long light. So he got out of the car? He got out of the car, he went to the back bumper of his car and started throwing handfuls of something at my car. He threw two handfuls before I got out of my car to get a picture of his license plate. As I was getting out, he threw a third handful and that's when I realized it was changed because the significant amount hit me in the face. I went up to take a picture of his license plate. He tried to knock my phone out of my hand. At that time, I don't know if I saw her or heard her first, but I heard her asking, well, yelling for him to please stop. She was crying. He was still at the back bumper. He leaned into the vehicle and told her to shut the and called her. Um, at that point in time, I walked around him. I looked in the car and I asked her if she was safe, if she was okay, she was crying. She was dressed extremely inappropriate for her age. Um, what was she wearing? Ha have you ever seen Dukes of Hazard? That little red checked or checkered thing that only covers your breast and the rest is all showing and she was wearing some shorts that didn't even cover her butt. Uh I asked her if she was okay. She told me that she just wanted to go home. I asked her if she wanted a ride. She said yes. She got out of the car. I'm assuming she popped the trunk. I don't know who did. She went to grab her bag and she had a makeup case in the back what in the kind trunk. Of bag? A backpack, a black backpack. She got the backpack out of the trunk. Yes, but not the makeup bag. He sped off before and the trunk lid came down and actually hit me. Don't say no. She didn't make this up, you idiot. She didn't make the part up that you got into her car. No, I know that. No, and she didn't make up the part that you got your bag out of the trunk of the she car. She said I was gonna I kill her. I want you to shut up. Yes, ma'am. You had to have told Miss Reyes where you lived. Mm-hmm. Not that that's not a uh-huh. Yes, I did tell Miss Reyes where, where I lived. Where I lived, and she took you home. Yes. I don't know whether that was in the direction of her birthday party, but there was a sufficient adult reaction to your situation that she went out of her way to take you home. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Perfect. And you were a willing passenger yes. in her car. Yes. Now, if you were a willing passenger in your car, and earlier that morning, you and Jake had hung out at his house, one must assume, if one is older and maturer, that there was something about Jake's conduct that you found unsafe for you to get out of his car and get into a car with a, put your hand down, stranger. Yes. Yes. Because otherwise, you lock the door and say, I'm staying with my boyfriend with whom I've just been hanging out because he's going to take me home. You don't get out of somebody's car who you know intimately to get into somebody's car who is a complete stranger unless you feel threatened. Your Honor, I felt threatened because Miss Corianne... But you felt threatened by... Now, you're going to tell me you feel threatened by her? No, just... That, no. That, just a second. Just make very clear, because whatever you're going to say, I really have to tell you, we're all much smarter than you are. I know you think you're smart, right? Mm-hmm. But we're all much smarter than you are. Yes, Your Honor. Perfect. Now, you got out of the car and went in the car with a stranger because... Because Miss Corianne came to my side of the door and said Jacob said he was going to kill me. Even though I had been listening into the conversation, I just felt that was the best way to defuse the situation. <laughs> so you mean the stranger nut came up to you and said to you, this guy said he's going to kill you, you better get out of the car. And you believed this stranger who had been acting inappropriately, right? She was acting inappropriately. Yes. That's what she, she was acting inappropriately so that you got out of your boyfriend, uncross your arms, you got out of your boyfriend's car into the woman's car who was acting inappropriately and she told you that your boyfriend was going to kill you. Yes. 